Hey guys, this is Dion here with your Guitar Academy. So in this lesson, we're gonna be adding our final 16th note strum to this pattern. So we're gonna be adding it now on beat number two, but not right on beat number two. We're on the second 16th note of beat number two, which is the two E. Um, so that will conclude our full strumming pattern for this particular lesson. And that will give us four strums in total whilst maintaining this 16th note movement with our picking hand. So grab your guitar. Let's get going. If you just joined us, please don't forget to head over to the website where you can get all of the additional course materials, including the handbook, any tabs, any backing tracks and chord diagrams as well. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment as well. It really helps us out to hear how you've been getting on with the courses and any questions you have, we will definitely get back to you. So let's further expand on this idea of our 16th note strumming pattern. So, so far we've had three 16th notes on beat number one that we've hit and then we've sounded our chord on, which was one, and then the E of one, and then the A ah of one, okay? So that's like one E and A, ah. one E and A, ah, like that, okay? So that's our pattern so far. So the next, and the fourth and final strum is gonna be on beat two, but the second 16th note. So this is beat number two. This is our second 16th note. That's gonna be an upstroke. So we wanna hit that one. So it would sound, you know, without playing the guitar, this pat full pattern would sound like this. One E and A uh, two E and uh, one E and A uh, two E and A. Uh. So one E and A uh, two E and A uh, one E and A uh, two E and A. Uh. Now, nice and slow with the chord. So let's do that again. One, Obviously, if I finish the bar, it would sound like this. One, and two, and a, three, and a, four, and a, one, and a, two, and a, three, and a, four, and a. Now, a little bit faster. Now with our drums at 60 BPM. Three, four, so remember one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. You see now this is really taking shape as a kind of really cool, very, very usable funk 16th note strumming pattern. Okay, so in terms of again what you're gonna be watching out for here, try not to get thrown off by the consecutive upstrokes. So, the so you've got two upstrokes in a row there. Just remember the hand is still moving at a, at a constant. Okay, we've just filled in, again imagine this grid, we've just filled in another beat, which is on our grid, beat number two, with the E, the second 16th note of beat number two. And if it does help you, write this down and visualize it. You know, write, you know, four beats, within each four of those beats, 10 little, sorry, four little squares per beat, and then just fill in the square of where we've we filled in with our strumming pattern so far. Um, so just another little pointer as what I mentioned previously about this in, idea of the internal metronome. So you'll hear that sometimes I'm actually accenting right on the beat. So anywhere there's a numbered beat, I'm actually hitting the strings a bit harder. It's kind of subtle, but so. Three, four. Three, four. And you know, that's something 
that is kind of useful for again just just internalizing where the beat is and just being aware of that beat at all times and exactly where you are um, because as I said the wheels can come off quite quickly with this sort of thing if you are kind of forgetting where you are on the beat and you're not entirely sure and you're a bit lost so anything that you can do that will you know help to hone this internal metronome is really really good um, so let's just hear what it sounds like now as I've done in previously at double the speed so at 120 BPM we're maintaining all of the same techniques again loose wrist with the right hand that's the name of the game and nice and relaxed nice and metronomic three one two So here it's kind of if, I, if you're not warmed up it can be quite a quite a tough um, task to kind of keep that up for a long period of time so this is very much a kind of stamina game as well so you know I keep mentioning it but taking your time building up your speed starting real slow around about 60 or you know as I said before 50 60 70 I'll let you be the judge just don't kid yourself and try and go too quickly and sacrifice your accuracy of your timing um, so that pretty much is all of our, you know, possible beats that we can strum on in this particular unit. But in the next lesson, we have kind of a, a small groove and a small backing track to try them in combination. So we're basically going to try the first bar is going to be beat one and then we're going to introduce another one. And that gives us a full kind of piece of music to work with. And also we're going to try moving around this E9 chord a little bit just so you can get a feel for moving this shape around the neck. That's it for this lesson. If you wanna go onto the next lesson, you can click here. And if you wanna go back to the beginning of the course, you can click here. Also, please don't forget to leave us a comment. Let us know how you've been getting on with the course so far. And if you have any questions about anything, we'll answer it and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.